What's up, Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the horde. And today we are talking about the brand new wonder weapon, the Chrysalax inside of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies Outbreak Mode. Will the Chrysalax be coming to the Outbreak Mode? What would it be like in the Outbreak Mode? And when can we expect the Chrysalax to come to Outbreak? All that and more coming up. So make sure you hit that like button and stick around to the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So just a little bit about the Chrysalax that you may not have already known. The Chrysalax came out inside of the brand new Forsaken map for DLC 4 in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. The Chrysalax has two forms. One the Savager, the other the Storm. One is a melee axe while the other is like an SMG. This is just for people that haven't already played Forsaken. Now, it'd be really interesting for the Chrysalax to actually come to Outbreak and maybe be able to use it against the Orta, for example. That would be so much fun. Could you imagine attacking Legion with the Chrysalax? But the problem is, is that it's not already inside of Outbreak. So what does that mean for the future of the Chrysalax in this mode? Well, we can kind of get a thought about that from the Cerberus from Mauerder Toten. The Cerberus has not been added to Black Ops Cold War Zombies Outbreak Mode up to this point, and there's a good chance that it does not get added now. The Chrysalax and the Cerberus are one of the key features of these maps. When you look back at both the Ray K as well as the DIE Shockwave, yeah, they were cool on the maps, but they didn't really feel like a part of the map that could only be a part of that map. Whereas the Cerberus and the Chrysalax feel so unique to those specific experiences that it might be kind of strange for them to come over to Outbreak. That's one side of the fence. The other side of the fence is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is coming to the end of its life cycle. As we know, Black Ops Cold War Zombies is going to be transitioning and Treyarch will be creating the zombies for Call of Duty Vanguard. So if that's the case, why not just throw all the weapons in there for fun? What is the point of not releasing all the wonder weapons inside of the game so that we can use every single weapon against Orta and inside of Outbreak in general if the game's about to come to an end? You have to figure that maybe the idea would be that give the community one chance to use these wonder weapons even if it's at the end of the game's life cycle right before Vanguard Zombies comes out because obviously if Vanguard Zombies is anything like Cold War Zombies, there's a good chance that we're going to be playing that a ton and maybe not touching Cold War Zombies as much. Now, I can understand both sides of the argument. Honestly, I kind of lean more towards the idea of adding the Cerberus and the Chrysalax, both to the box and the Trials machines inside of Outbreak. I don't think that you could really go about the quests to actually get them. And also, from a storyline perspective, it really doesn't make sense for those weapons to be inside of Outbreak. From a storyline perspective, we don't go back to Outbreak after Mauer der Toten. Obviously, we had the two Outbreak Easter eggs before Mauer, but after Mauer der Toten and after Forsaken, we do not go back into Outbreak. At least, not yet. So it wouldn't make a ton of sense for these two weapons that we technically got after the events of Outbreak to be able to be used inside of Outbreak. Now, of course, with that being said, I mean, it's a magical freaking box. I mean, it could just pop out whatever it wants, and we've had weapons, that new DLC weapons that get added that weren't in Outbreak beforehand, but nonetheless, I could understand why Treyarch maybe wants to stay away from that. Trying to explain how those weapons got into Outbreak in the first place would just add another wrinkle into basically an already convoluted storyline. Imagine you're going in to do the Legion boss fight and you have the Chrysalax, but then if you're playing chronological order, then you go to play Forsaken and you get the Chrysalax again and everyone's like, wow, this is a new weapon we've never seen before. When realistically you saw it in Outbreak, it could definitely confuse a lot of people. If they were to decide to add these two wonder weapons into Outbreak, when do we think they would be coming? Well, that's a question with a pretty tough answer. As we know, we are less than a month away from Vanguard Zombies and the complete storyline that's going to be unfolding over there. And it's interesting to think that Season 6 is our last season for Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and there's a good chance that we don't get a Season 6 Reloaded, because technically the date that Season 6 Reloaded is supposed to come out is right around the release of Call of Duty Vanguard. So would they release these brand new Wonder Weapons into Outbreak right before as kind of a way to tide us over until Vanguard Zombies comes out? Or are they just not going to release anything for Season 6 Reloaded because what's the point? There's about to be a new game in a few days. With that being said, it'd also be really interesting to see if we somehow got new content for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War in a year 2 format, even though Treyarch will be releasing 
different kinds of weapons and stuff inside of Vanguard in terms of zombies, it'd be interesting to see if we also were to be getting new weapons inside of Black Ops Cold War and as a way for them to hopefully have a little bit more content for zombies because obviously the zombies team is going to be like all in over on Vanguard. They decide to release these two weapons as ways to kind of tide the zombies community over in Cold War if they don't like Vanguard or just they haven't purchased Vanguard for that matter. All in all, I think that the Chrysalax would be super fun inside of Cold War Zombies Outbreak. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're interested in all the best weapons to use against Orda in Outbreak, go ahead and click on this video right here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. I want to give a quick massive shout out to any of our channel members or Twitch subs over on the channel and a big extra shout out to the Zombie Richtofen members starting off with hashtag best mod strict archer the quippest man in the southern hemisphere commander underscore quip and the man the myth the legend tis brandon zr